that will be joining us, but uh, they can join in. Yeah, let's get going. So good morning and welcome to FGCU on Academy Online and of course Balance University Academy, uh, Balance University Online. I'm your instructor, Chris Williams. Uh, we want to make sure you guys have something stable to hold on to, um, like a chair, a table. Uh, we'll be going through different movements and excuse me, I want to make sure that you feel comfortable, competent. I talk a lot about using one or two fingers. What, I, what that means is that if typically you've used your hand to hold on, you want to continuously challenge yourself, right? So maybe in a movement you're feeling a little more confident or you just want to try to venture out just a little bit, which I do encourage. You do want to be safe, but you may want to try to hold, use maybe one or two fingers and then from there you can eventually get to a point where you're letting go. And what I tell folks is that Use the rhythm of your favorite song, right? So Bee Gees is, is Staying Alive is a great song for CPR. You know, if you do CPR and you give your compressions at the same beat as Staying Alive, ah, 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 Staying Alive, Staying Alive. So same thing here, you can use your hand as you venture away and then back, and that'll help build your confidence. What that also does is that gives your foot, your brain, an opportunity to work together without the aid of a chair or a table, all right? Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So just a little tip there. Also, breathing, uh, I may instruct you to breathe, uh, exhale, inhale at certain times. If you do not hear me instruct you specifically, breathe normally, right, as you normally would. Worst thing you can do is hold your breath. Of course, Balance University is made of four pillars, strength, posture, flexibility, and then of course, balance. We'll do two exercises in each pillar. I like to work them in a circuit. And then uh, at the balance pillar, we'll do four exercises. At the end of each pillar, I'll ask for questions. Small class, if you have any questions, just raise your hand, you know, or and unmute your mic and fire away. So it's a not completely formal, uh, like a formal setting like we would be in a classroom. So, proud dad moment, notice the balloons. Um, my daughter graduated from nursing school yesterday, so done, like done with that, done with school. So, she has a friend, so funny, she gave our youngest son her uh, TI-85 calculator. For you parents, if you still remember, the TI-85 is the graphing calculator. So, she gave it to my youngest son, who's 14, and she looked at him and said, here you go, I'm never taking another class again. I'm done. <laughs> so, so we've got two down, two to go, right? One in the Air Force, one done with school. We've got one at FSU, and then, uh, of course, the youngest is a freshman in high school. So, All right. Any questions over your last handout? Everybody understand that okay? See that okay? Really click on your sources. Really explore through there, guys. I take a lot of time to gather all this information. I want to make sure that you utilize it. I don't think folks give uh, credence to balance uh, until they have a fall or they experience some of their independence being taken away. And then all of a sudden balance becomes a serious thing. Um, with that, this is the last class of the year. So I will not see you again until January. And there's going to be a couple of things that pass, right? Hanukkah's is already going past this. Uh, we have Christmas coming up. And then we have the New Year's resolutions, right? So, so here's the thing. I've never been a huge fan of resolutions only because there's always a good time to start, right? There's always a great time to start to get healthy. And a lot of people use New Year's as an excuse to begin. You can start at any moment at any time, right? So I, it's not that I'm opposed to New Year's resolutions at all. I just believe that you can begin to get healthy and we all should encourage a loved one or anyone who's struggling to get healthy. Research shows us that folks who have a solid support system are more successful. I think the, the percentage is almost 80% more successful at doing whatever their goals are, right? Losing weight typically be, is the main goal. Maybe you've experienced that with classes, right? Group classes. You kind of create the camaraderie and a support system. And so that's what we want to do here. We want to uh, create a support system for you, especially when it comes to balance. So can everybody, is, am I frozen? 
Okay. So everybody's just being so still. Y'all never been that, that still and intent when I'm talking. <laughs> it's almost like you're interested. So I did a little bit of research on New Year's resolutions, right? And I wanted to come across and kind of do something fun today, right? Not get so serious. And so there were some pretty neat things uh, I came across. One of them was talking about our resolutions. And uh, if you'll flip through your sources page when you get it, if you'll look... I think it's on page two, three, and four. Every year, millions of people make New Year's resolutions, hoping to spark positive change. Reoccurring theme each year include more active approach to health and fitness, improved finances, learning new things for personal and professional development. Chances are more than a couple of the top 10 most common resolutions will look familiar to you. Top 10 most resolutions, and then we'll get going. Exercise more. What helps you improve your balance? Exercise more. Lose weight. Absolutely helps you improve your balance. Get organized, right? We all could be more organized, especially our homes, when it comes to balance. Learn a new skill or hobby. So, learn a new skill or hobby. Maybe you're learning how to stand on one foot. Maybe you're learning how to stand in that balanced position of confidence. Live life to the fullest, right? There's a great song Tim McGraw wrote, you know, live life, you were dying. That's a great song. Save more money, spend less money. Quit smoking. You know, the vaping has become a big thing. A lot of people believe that they put the cigarette down and pick up the vape pen, but what they find is it's the same prison. It's the same addiction. It's, it's tough. I've heard smoking is the toughest addiction to get over, so that's a, that's a tough one. Spend more time with friends and family. We all could do that. Travel more and read more. So those are your top 10 resolutions. I did that because, and then you can go through the statistics, guys. I'm not going to take up a lot, of, a lot of class time. This was interesting. 188.9 million adult Americans, 74% of the population say they're determined to learn something new. So go through there and check that out. It's pretty interesting, some of the statistics and some graphs. I included some graphs on there as well. So, all right, any questions? All right, a little bit different topic this morning. So, okay, let's get going. We're going to begin with our assessments. All right. So first thing we're going to do is let's bring our chair to the left side. All right, good, good. And we're going to start with our feet hip width apart, knees slightly bent, chest up, chin up, core tight, hand on the chair, eyes closed, get your bearings, 15 seconds, time begins now. It's just standing with your feet hip width apart with your eyes closed. Hold on to that chair if you need to. All right, remember we were talking about one or two fingers. Five. Four, three, two, one, and time. Well done. Now we're just going to move those feet close together. Get them as close together as you can. Same thing. All right. Chest up, chin up, core tight, knees slightly bent, hand on the chair, eyes closed. Time begins now. Good. You can use that chair. Don't be afraid to hold on to that chair. In three, two, one, and time. Well done. Now we're going to stand on one foot, okay? Go ahead, find your focal point. First time we do this, our eyes are open. I want you to find the focal point in front of you. All right, let's shift our weight to our left foot. Bend your knee, right foot up in the air. Eyes open. Time begins now. Just simply standing on one foot for 15 seconds. That's it. Good, good, good. I like to keep my foot right underneath me. So I'm going to put it out and back. And three, two, one, and time. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time we will close our eyes, okay? I want you to be safe. If you feel comfortable and confident, of course you can let go, but I want to make sure that you're safe, okay? Here we go. Let's shift our weight to our left foot. Listen to the verbal cues here. Right heel in the air. So my toes of my right foot are still on the ground. Close your eyes. 
get your bearings. This is a good indication of whether you, need, you can bring your foot up in the air if you would be comfortable with it or not. If you're a little wobbly, just keep that position you're in now. If you feel comfortable and confident, go ahead and lift that right foot up into the air. Time begins now. Good. Keep that knee slightly bent. And five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good. Let's rotate to the opposite side. Well done. All right. First thing we're going to do is stand on one foot with our eyes open. You're going to find your focal point in front of you. Core tight. Chest up, chin up. Let's shift that weight to the right foot. Knee slightly bent. Time begins now. It's a great opportunity. If you've been holding on with your entire hand, maybe try three, two, one fingers. Finger. And then also remember the beat, the pattern to your favorite song. Three, two, one, and time. Same thing, eyes closed. We're going to shift our weight to our right foot. Left heel in the air, right knee slightly bent. Close your eyes. Get your bearings. Again, this is a clear indication of whether you would be efficient at bringing that foot up into the air. All right, let's go ahead, bring that left foot up in the air if you feel comfortable and confident. Time begins now. You certainly can hang on to the chair when you do this. Very good. Five, four, three, Two, one, and time. Awesome. Any questions? Those are our assessments. Let's go ahead and shift into the uh, strength pillar. Go ahead and grab a shot of water. We'll give you guys about 20 seconds here. So if I sound a little winded, it's, um, it's because I am. <laughs> So with all the activity yesterday going on, uh, soccer games and everything else, I forgot to print out the workout. And I didn't even email it to Rose. So if you don't, maybe I did. I can't remember. I don't think I did. So be patient. Your email will come by noon. All right. As soon as we get done with class, I'll shoot that out. So uh, I was hustling around trying to get myself prepared and get ready. So, all right. We're going to start in our chair this morning. Oh. All right, starting in our chair. We're going to be nice and tall. Now we're going to do something. We're going to um, we're going to use this. We're going to work unilaterally, right? We're going to work one side at a time. We've never done this before, right? This would be a good change. Excuse me. Let me demonstrate. You follow. We're going to simply lift our right leg up in the air. We're going to go out. To the side, back to start, in, and down. Then we'll do the other side, right? We have hip flexion. Then we're going to have extension. Abduction, adduction. Back in with flexion, back down. All right? A lot of parts there. We're going to go back and forth, okay? So we're going to, everyone together, right leg. We're going to come up, out, abduct. Add up, keep it elevated, bring it in and down. The tricky part is keeping that leg up, right? So we're going to go here. Your legs should look at an angle right there. Go up, abduct, adduct, in and down. Try to keep your back upright, okay? Here we go. Right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six and six. One, two, three, four, five, 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 and six. Two more each side. One, two, three, Four, five, six. Keep that chest up, chin up. Good. Five and six. Last one on each side. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, stay upright, one, two, back straight, three, four, five, and six. Good, good. Thought we'd start with something easy this morning. <laughs> All right. Next exercise, we're going to stand. We're going to stand in front of our chair. Now, what we're going to do here is, is we're going to do a sit slow. We're going to try and do this with our hands in the air. What we're really doing, what we're really doing is we're combining the founder's exercise with the sit slow. All right, we're going to take those two exercises and make one. So let me demonstrate. We've got our hands in the air. If you need to use your hands to guide you, guys, you don't feel comfortable, you're certainly welcome to, right? My feet are as wide apart as the legs on my chair. <laughs> and I'm going to sit down. It's going to take me four seconds, okay? And as I go down, I'm going to push my arms back. And let's begin. One, stick that bottom out. Two, push back, push your arms back. Three, slow, slow. Four, we're down and we're up. That's it. <laughs> One, two, stick that bottom out. Get your nose over your toes, push those hands back. Three and four, nice and slow. And we're up. One, two, push back. You'll feel your weight shift to your heels. Three and four. Awesome. And we're up. And one, two, three, and four. Good, good. Let me give you a different angle. Two more. Two more. Here we go. One, stick that bottom out. Push those arms back. Two, three, and four. Good, good. Last one. <laughs> one, two, three, and four. And rest. Well done. Great job. Catch your breath. Give you, give you a second to catch your breath. I'm going to make a little note here. All right. Going to go back to our chair. Beautiful. We're going to go back to our chair. <laughs> Hardest thing to do here is as you bring this knee up into the air, when you kick this leg out, your back wants to go back. Try and fight that urge, right? Try to keep your chest up and that shoulders back as, as the leg goes up, right? That's what we call hip flexion there. Difficult to do, but give it a shot, okay? So here we go, nice and tall. My, I'm, at, I'm at the middle to the end of my seat here. <laughs> you can use your hands, and we're going to start with the right leg. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Keep that back straight. One, sorry, two, three, four, five, and six. Last one each side. One, two, three, that's it. Four, five, and six. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Catch your breath. Well done. All right. Give you about 10 seconds or so. Good. Okie doke. Going back to that sitting slow, our founder's exercise combo. <laughs> our feet are hip width apart. All right, here we go. We're taking our arms straight up in the air. Again, you can use your arms if you need to, right? If you need to 
guide yourself into the seat, you don't feel quite confident, that's perfectly fine, okay? Arms straight up in the air, core tight, and let's begin. Sitting slow. Four, push those arms back as you go down. Three, two, and one. Good, good. If you go a little fast, that's okay. And we're up. Four, three, push back. Two, and one. And we're up. You'll notice when you go down, when you start to descend, your weight will shift to your heels. That's what you want. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Three more. And we're up. Four, three, two, and one. That's it. And we're up. Two more. And four. Really stick that bottom out there. Three, two, and one. That's it. Last one. We're up. Four, three. Push back, push back. Two, and one. And rest. Well done. Catch your breath. Give you about 20 seconds here. Get a shot of water. <clears throat> good, good, good. Any questions? That's our strength pillar. You guys got me sweating this morning. The humidity outside is a thousand percent. I have a little weather station. It wasn't even calculated. It was just dashes. Unbelievable. All right. So if no questions, let's go off script. Easy off script. So I'm going to need everyone to do a handstand, right? Everybody can do that, right? So what we're going to, I'm just kidding. We're going to be in our balanced position of confidence. My chair is on the left side. My left foot is forward. <clears throat> in our balanced position of confidence. All right, and all I'm simply doing is I'm going to do a cab raise, right, or a toe raise. I'm going to rise up on my toes as high as I can, and I'm going to go down nice and slowly, okay, about three seconds. So you should have your weight split evenly, 50-50, all right, we're up and descending at a rate of three, two, one, good, and up. Three, two, one. Good. And again, up high as you can. You've got that chair if you need it. Three, two, and one. Excuse me. So I know I've told you my son's room's there. The dog knows how to open the door handles. So he just went in the room. Here we go. Up. Three, two, one. One, very good, again, up, down slow, three, two, and one, two more. And we're up, you can hold that chair if you need to. Three, two, and one, last time. And up, three, two, and one, perfect. All right, let's rotate, do the same thing on the opposite side there. Okie doke. Right foot forward. Again, this may look different on the right side when the right foot is forward versus the left and the left foot is forward. We're up. Most important part, make sure your weight is split evenly and down slow. Three, two, and one. Good. And we're up. That's it. And three, two, and one. Good. And up. High as you can. Three, two, one, up, three, two, one, that's it, four more, up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, that's it, two more, up. Three, down slow, two, keep those knees slightly bent, one, and up, core tight, chest back, 
three, shoulders back, chest out, two, one, and rest. So, what we're doing there is we're working the muscles on the back side of the lower leg, right? Our gastrocnemius, posterior tibialis. Here's, let me, here's an exercise to work the muscles on the front part of your leg. You can do it two, actually you can do it a number of ways. I'm going to show you a couple, okay? First one is just lifting your toes up into the air. That's a terrible angle. Just like that. Right? If you do this, I would strongly suggest you holding on to something. Uh, you do not want to get in a situation when you lift those toes up. You, you see me moving backwards. It's very easy for folks to lose their balance and fall backwards. Uh, so I would, I would suggest a chair table. Uh, another exercise you can do is something that Mike Krzyzewski made famous. If you know who Mike Krzyzewski is, he was a West Point grad. Coaches at uh, the university, uh, I'm sorry, coaches at Duke University. I was thinking Kentucky. And so what he started having his basketball players do, he coached, he coached the uh, U.S. men's um, basketball team to a gold medal. He would have his players walk the length of the court and back on their heels. Just like that. Give that a try. Give that a shot right here. Just walk around. If you've got your chair and, and you're unsure, you can just hang on to your chair and just kind of walk in place. Just kind of walk around like that. Good. Now I want you to take your arms. I want you to do like this. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. But you can start to, you can relax, but you can start to feel that anterior tibialis, all those muscles on the front part of the leg, start to fire and work. So what we do to one side, we want to make sure we do to the other. So when you do your calf raises, like I know you're going to do over the break, make sure you do your, your toe raises as well, right? Okay. <laughs> Very good. Let's go ahead and keep our chair on the same side. Huh. Here's what we're going to do. This is our now our posture pillar. We're moving in to the second phase, the second pillar. We're going to be in our balanced position of confidence, right? What's going to happen is I'm going to come forward and stand on one leg. My right leg is forward. I'm going to come forward. All I mean by coming forward is I'm going to shift my weight forward, bring my left foot into the air, my left leg. I'm going to go out, push back, in, and then return to start position. Really simple. I used a lot of words to explain a very simple exercise. So from here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. That's it. Okay, everybody together. Here we go. Right foot forward, core tight, knee slightly bent. And let's begin. One, stay close to that chair. If you need to hold on, go ahead. Two, three, and four. If it helps to not bring that foot up as high, use that. One, maybe it's here. Two, three, and four. I would like for you to get it all the way up. And here we go. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Two more. One, two, three, and four. Last one. One, Two, push back. Three and four. Good. Catch your breath. Let's uh, rotate. Yep, let's rotate to the other side. Let's go ahead and knock that out. <laughs> Same thing with the exception of the stance. We're going to switch our stance. Now our left foot will be forward, okay? And expect, expect it to be a little different, right? You guys know that by now. You're better on one side than another. So here we go. Left foot forward, nice and tall, core tight. Find your focal point. Arms in front of you. And let's begin. Bringing the right leg through. One, two, push back. Open that chest up. Three, together, and four. One, use one hand if you need to. Two, three, and four. That's it. Perfect. 
One, two, push, push, three, and four. One, two, push, three, and four. Last one. One, two, three, and four. And rest. Well done. Shoulders should be feeling it by now. You're doing a lot of shoulder work today. Good, good, as we do most days. All right. <laughs> so, legs are essential, right? It's, it, it's a, I can't express enough how important it is to have strong legs. So, I know last week we did our single leg stand. Uh, was anyone sore after last week? That's a tough one. Yeah, nah, not really? Okay. So, what we're going to do today, right, is something similar. We're going to start seated in our chair. I'm sitting at probably midway to the front of my chair. What I'm going to do is, again, kind of that single leg, that single leg, I'm going to be standing on my right foot. I'm going to use both feet to get me up in the air, right? So I'm going to come up and up, and then I'm just going to lean forward and give a little reach, back up, and down. The majority of my weight, I would say 60 to 70 percent, is on my right leg, okay? So let's count it out. One, two, three, and four. You got it. So if you can do it all on your right leg, more power to you, okay? And let's begin. One, two, reach, 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 three, and four on one leg. That's it. Let me give you a better angle. And one, two, three, and four. And one, two, shift that weight to your heel, three, and four. Good, good. One, two, reach out there. Try to balance yourself on that one foot, three, and four. When I reach, I'm on one foot now. Last one. One, two, reach, reach, three, that's it, and four, and rest. Good. Catch your breath. We're going to do the other side. Make a quick note. All right. Now we're doing the left leg. Same thing, nice and tall. You can use that right leg to help you get up. And let's begin. One, two, reach out there as far as you can. Three, under control, and sit and slow. Four. One, two, three, and four. Really stick that nose out there when you sit down. Try to avoid that plop. One, two, three, and four. Good. Three more. One, two, shift that weight to your heel. Three, stand up nice and tall, sitting down. Four, nice and slow. Dos mas. One, Two, shift your weight to your heel. Three, four. Good, last one. Here we go. Get that nose over your toes. One, two, three, and four. Great job, man. Good, and rest. All right, grab a shot of water if you need it. Good, solid work. Some solid, solid work there.
Let's move that chair to the left side. So we're going to be in our position here, all right, remember, we're going to be coming forward or shifting all of our weight onto that left foot, we're going to open up wide, come back, and return to start position. So we're in our balanced position of confidence, <clears throat> we have our left foot forward, our hands out in front of us, core tight, find your focal point, knees are slightly bent, and let's begin. We're going to go one, leg in the air, two, push back, stretch that chest out, three, and four. One, two, push out, push out, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, that's it, hold on if you need to. Good, two, good Michelle. Three, and four, well done, two more. One, two, push, push. Three, and four, last one. One, two, push out, push out, three, and four, and rest. Good, let's rotate that chair to the opposite side. Great job, very good. <clears throat> All right, same song, different verse. Here we go, right foot forward. All right, and again, it's okay if you hold on. You do not have to bring your leg all the way up. You know, if, if, if you have more control, you're more efficient, keeping that leg a bit lower, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Right leg forward in our balanced position of confidence. Hands up, arms up in front of us, palms to the sky. We're going to go one, two, three, and four. One, two, Good, Martha. Three and four. Awesome. One, two, three, and four. Great job, everyone. One, two, three, and four. Two more. And one, two, Three and four, last one. One, two, three, and four. And rest. Great job. Go ahead and catch your breath. Get some water if you need it. We're going to go back to our chair right there. Back to our, our single leg standing. About 10, 15 seconds here. Good, good. So you see me writing a lot. Guys, I'm just taking notes, um, changing it up just a little bit. I do that because I see the class and, and the class when we get in, I want to cater to everyone. I certainly want to challenge everyone. Everyone here is more than capable, capable than of doing what I had down. So we're progressing everything. And so you'll get all this. Since I haven't seen it, I don't believe I've seen it already. Um, you'll get this. So Okay, back to our chair. Again, I'm about middle to the front of the chair here. We're going to start on our left leg. So this is a bit different than last time. We're going to start on the left leg, okay? And again, let me show you. We're just coming up on one leg. If you can, stand up on one leg, right? If you can't, if that's hard, it's okay. You can use 70 to 80% of your body weight and use the opposite leg, right? And we're going to bring that leg in the air. We're going to reach. We're going to come back to start position, and then we're going to sit down. 
And we're going to try to use that one leg to sit down. But when I descend, when I ascend, when I stand up, when I sit down, you really want to get your nose out there over your toes, right? And I'm going to turn my chair so I can really, really give you a good shot at this, at how far I'm getting out, okay? <laughs> so everyone together, let's begin. We're up. One. Two. Reach as far as you can. Three. And four. Stick that bottom out. Perfect. And one, two, reach, 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 three, and four. Good, good, Mary. And one, two, reach as far as you can. Shift that weight to your heel, three, and four, nice and slow. And one, awesome. Two, <laughs> three, that's okay, you can, you can go four, down slow, that's it, two more, one, two, reach, 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 three, and four, last one, one, two, three, and four. Beautiful. All right. Let's switch to the opposite side. Shake it out if you need to. Good. All right. No place you'd rather be, huh? <laughs> and doing extra. Hey, you know, you know the best thing about exercise? You know the best thing about going to the gym? Leaving. Best thing about going to the gym. Promise. Here we go. But I will say this. I've never seen someone leave the gym in a worse mood than what they came in with, right? Here we go. <clears throat> you know, all right, now this is something you can show your friends. You know, if you have someone that's by you, lives next to you, standing next to you, go ahead, they can join in. You can show them this. This is a little harder than it looks. Here we go. I think you guys have realized that. And we're up, right leg, reach out there. Good, back in. Descend nice and slow. Good, good, good. And up, one, two, reach, 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 three, and four. Nice and slow. Really get that nose out there. And one, two, three, and four. Down slow. Good. One, two, three, and four. Two more. One, two, three, and four. Last one. One, two, three, and four. Beautiful. And rest. Well done. Catch your breath. Any questions? That was a lot. <laughs> we did a lot of stuff. We did a lot of uh, unilateral work right there in that posture pillar. All right, we're going to move into our flexibility pillar. Give you a few seconds here. Here we go. <laughs> Flexibility pillar. We're going to start with both feet out in front of us. All right, we have both feet out in front of us. All right, now I, instead of having our base wide there, let's go ahead and have our base hip width apart, okay? Now you want to be careful not sit too close to the edge of the chair where you fall out. All right, we're going to take both of our hands and we're just going to slide down our legs there and it's okay if your feet point forward it's okay if they point up to the sky but you're going to feel that stretch in the back of your legs there you're just going to hold steady hold that stretch 
in about 20 seconds. <clears throat> And five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring that right leg in. You want to leave that left leg extended. We're going to take both hands and slide down that left leg. That's it. Tuck your chin to your chest. And again, it's okay if the toe's pointing up or pointing straight. It's okay if your knee's bent a bit. As long as you feel a stretch in the back of your leg, that's what you're aiming for. You know, you're doing it right. And five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. All right, let's rotate. Let's bring that right leg out. And again, both hands, we're going to slide down that right leg. <laughs> Same rules apply to this leg as the other, right? Toe point straight or up is okay. Knee slightly bent, that's okay. If it's straight, that's okay too. Good. And five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. All right, now we're going to slide all the way back into our chair here. All right, chest up, chin up. Now, I, I would like for you not to have your, your back on the back of the chair. All right, so we're going to take our left hand, we're going to tuck it underneath our chair. Oh, excuse me. Okay, you're going to take your left hand and slide it underneath your chair. You're going to hold that chair, the bottom side of it. Okay, right hand across the stomach. <laughs> you're going to lean and look to the right. Okay, so left hand's holding. That's our anchor. You're going to lean and look to the right. You're going to look up. You're going to look down. You're going to find the place you feel that stretch the most and just hold steady. Good. That's it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're going to do the same thing going the opposite direction. Okay, so now we'll take our right hand, hold it under that chair. Left hand's going across the stomach. Okay. We're going to lean and look to the left. That's it. You'll look up, look down, find that place you feel the stretch the most, and just hold. Good. And five, four, three, two, and one and relax. Great job. That's our flexibility pillow. It is so important with our, uh, our balance. This is really very important for anything you do, flexibility. Having those muscles able to function through their entire required or designed range of motion. Any questions there? Nope. All right, let's get to work. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. I, I saw Martha doing this. I thought maybe I'd lost my audio. <laughs> so, all right, let's move into our balance pillar. Get you a shot of water. Give you a few seconds here. We're going to start with our chair on the left side. All right. Good. Good stuff today. So first thing we're going to do is a lot like where we started in the strength pillar. This time, our leg, we're going to be standing when our leg goes out in front of us and out and in. Okay, so we're going to shift our weight to our left foot. And what we're going to do is right foot in the air, bringing that right foot out in front of us. We're going to open, close, and then back to start position, okay? 
Try not to allow that right foot to touch the ground. Once it comes in the air, I want you to try to keep it in the air. If you need to put it on the ground to, to re-establish balance or regroup, that is perfectly okay. But what we'll do is, is we're standing, right leg goes up, out, in, and down. We're gonna go slow because I don't want momentum to play a role in this exercise, right? I don't wanna go so fast I start losing control. So here we go, find your focal point. Knees slightly bent. We're gonna shift our weight to the left side. Right foot in the air. We're going out. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Nice and tall. Don't lean back. Stay engaged. One, two, core tight. Three, and four. One, two, three, and four. That's it. Three more. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Last one for good luck. One, two, three, and four. Good, shake it out. You should really feel that lower leg on that foot you're standing on. Really start to fire, that's good stuff. Let's rotate our chair. <clears throat> good, very good. Find your focal point. Knee slightly bent, nice and tall, core tight, and let's begin. One, two, three, and four. Slow, don't allow momentum to play a role. One, two, three, and four. Great job. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, five more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. You don't want to bring that leg so far up that it's causing you to lean back. One, two, three, and four. Two more. One, two, three, and four. And it's okay if your toes point out. One, two, three, and four. Last one for good luck. One, two, three, and four. Well done, shake it out. Very good. Our next exercise is gonna be a wood chop, right? We've done this several times. So we're going to be standing on our left, on our right foot. We have our chair on the right side. Let's just go ahead and keep it there. So we're going to shift our weight to our right foot. And what we're going to do is we're going to take both hands. Imagine you're swinging an axe. For those of you that's ever chopped wood, it, it's a tough uh, exercise to do. It's, it's hard work. And so we've got, we have our axe or you can use an imaginary ball. We're balancing on our right foot. You can, of course, use your left foot if you need to help, uh, to help create more balance, more stability. We're gonna go from right shoulder to left hip, and then back. So you're just gonna move nice and slow, okay? So let's do this together. We're gonna shift our weight to our right foot. Hands either on the ax or on the ball. We're gonna move right shoulder, to left hip. Now if you need to, you can use one hand. Use your right hand and move the left. We're gonna go one, two, and one, and two. Back and forth. That's it. Keep that knee slightly bent. Find your focal point. You're standing on one foot now. You're standing on your right foot Going to right shoulder to left hip, that's it. If you need to use one hand, you certainly can use one hand. That's it. Back and forth. 
Do not allow momentum to play a role in this exercise. We're going to do a few more. So one, that's it, and two, and three. Back to start position and relax. Good. And lower legs should really be firing. You should really be feeling it. Let's change our chair to the opposite side. Okay. Again, find your focal point. Nice and tall, core tight. We're going to be standing on our left foot. This time our hands are moving from left to right. Okay, so we'll go left shoulder to right hip. Let's bring that right foot in the air. Hands on the left shoulder. And let's begin. Good. To hip, back to shoulder. That's it. If you need to use one hand, that's fine. If you need to use that right foot to create some stability in the movement, that's okay too. I like to leave my foot very close. That way if I, if I start to feel myself losing my balance, it goes right down to the ground. Good. Back and forth. That's it. Getting a little bit of rotation in the hips, that's okay. Good, good. Now this shows us how much flexibility or lack of flexibility we have in our shoulders too. Back and forth. All right, let's do a few more. <laughs> One, to the hip and back. And two, Great job. Good job, man. That's it. Well done, Mary. Three. One more for good luck. Good, Michelle. And four. And very good, Martha. And relax. Shake it out. Well done. Next exercise we're going to do is going to be our trace D. And then we're going to balance on one foot for 60 seconds. So just about done. It is 10 o'clock. If you need to go, I understand. We're just gonna be a few more minutes here, okay? Maybe five max. Nice and tall, find your focal point. You hear me say that all the time. That's just a reminder to keep the shoulders back, keep your core tight. We're gonna trace a D on the ground, or if you were at the beach, you're just drawing a capital D in the sand with your toe, with your big toe, okay? So what we'll do, is shift your weight to your left foot. Chair's already on the left side, so we'll just stay here. Knees slightly bent. We'll start in the back, so my toe starts in the back. We're going to go from back to front and around. Now you can make this D as large or as small as you want. The bigger it is, the harder it is, right? So if you really want to make it large, you can go back to front and really swing it out there, okay? Back to front and around. Good. Now I don't want any weight on that foot that's moving. All right? No weight. Good. Let's do five more. One. <clears throat> two. Three, four, and five. And rest. Good. Shake it out. Let's rotate. Great job. Great job. All right. Shift our weight to our right foot. Tracing that D. In the sand with our left foot. Ready? Starting in the back. And let's begin. Back to front and around. Perfect. Front and around. Now go at your own pace. All right? If you need to go a little slower, that's okay. If you need to go a little faster, that's okay too. Just don't go so fast that momentum starts to play a role in the movement. We're going to shoot for 12. This is 5. That's it. Good. Now it may be different on one side than the other. That's okay. Good. 
four more. One, two, three, and four. And rest. Grab a shot of water. I'm going to give you about five, ten seconds here. We're going to come back. We're going to balance on one foot for 60 seconds, okay? I want to see how better, how much better, how much we're improving. <laughs> All right. Deep breath. We're going to switch our weight and we're going to shift our weight to our right foot. Bend your knee. Find your focal point. 60 seconds. I'm not going to talk. I want you to concentrate. I know it's going to be weird. All right, here we go. Not hearing my voice. 60 seconds. Time begins now. Standing on our right foot. Eyes open. Eyes open. But if you need to use your hand, that's fine. Twenty seconds has passed. Thirty. Anybody getting better? We make it? All right. Opposite side. Get your bearings here. Here we go. Deep breath in and out. Good. Shift your weight to your left foot. Bend that knee. Find a focal point. Find something to focus on it. Right leg in the air, right foot in the air. Time begins now. Twenty seconds has passed. seconds. Forty. Here we go. Ten seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one and time. Great job. Great job. Any questions? You guys did great. Well done. Tough class. Good. It was a good class this morning. A lot of good strength stuff. Worked our shoulders, worked our legs. Uh, thank you very much for being here, of course, on behalf of FGCU Academy Online and myself, Balance University. Uh, we really appreciate all the support and uh, the continued support that we get from you guys, the community. Uh, I really want to wish you guys happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Have a very happy and safe New Year's. Hopefully you guys are spending time with friends and family or just some time alone. I talk all day, so when I get home, I just listen to my wife. It's perfect. It works out great. <laughs> so, so you guys, Balance University, of course, Second edition available at MyBalanceUniversity.com. All our sources that we use and all this research, all these topics we talk about are available there on that website. Scroll to the bottom, you'll see the resource page. And also it's included in your link on your handout. You will be getting that. I'll double check, make sure that's sent. Um, 
Have a Merry Christmas. All right. Remember your homework. Remember, I'll see you next. I'll see you next year. Remember your homework. Make someone smile. All right. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Oh, you bet. Merry Christmas. Love you. I have more videos I'll send you uh, for Caleb last night. Yeah, he did good. Yeah, and then Bailey's ceremony.